So we're past the point where a lot of the major fixes that we would have already seen if they were taken care of with the season two update, if they were going to be following shortly thereafter, we've passed that point where a lot of the stuff would have been taken care of already. So we start to now look towards the future for Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. And today, I want to take some time to let you know about some issues that still persist that will likely be fixed down as of the next title update, likely coming with the mid-season update in roughly about two weeks time, it looks like. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Is there anything in particular that you're hoping to see adjusted, fixed, or added here with this update, whether we mention it or not? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you'll find it out on Insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, you'd like to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you in the community. But for now, let's take a look at the upcoming changes for Modern Warfare 2 in the upcoming update, or the next one here, likely the mid-season. So firstly, we of course know that we're going to see some new content stuff coming along with the Season 2 Reloaded update itself. We can touch on these briefly, but I want to make sure we get over to genuine fixes and adjustments to gameplay that may be a problem for some players or just overall adjustments that we'll see for any of the modes upcoming. So the content that you can expect to see on the multiplayer and Modern Warfare 2 side of things, of course, we do have that new Raid Episode 2 coming, following what we saw with Adam Grade, continuing on that story and where that left off. If you guys have not checked that out, it is something we're going to see that storyline from Modern Warfare 2's campaign progress through Spec Ops and then from Adam Grade, that Episode 1 of the Raid, into Episode 2, whatever that ends up being named here upcoming. Now, strangely, we really haven't seen too much of the narrative progress elsewhere in Warzone and DMZ, which is kind of surprising to me. I mean, Spec Ops was kind of the jumping off point for that extracurricular narrative that we saw within Modern Warfare 2019, where the campaign ended and then we ended up seeing it say the story will continue in Spec Ops, but then like a couple of missions end up being added in. But once Warzone came around, that's where we saw the story and the narrative continue on. We saw progressive seasonal Easter eggs and cutscenes be introduced that ended up showcasing that Victor Zakayev was the new bad threat here that we had to face off with. He wanted to enact World War III, launching the missiles from Verdansk. So that was stuff that we had to take care of and it eventually ended up right after the integration of Black Ops Cold War kind of going into that next year of support a little bit but we don't have that right now within Warzone and DMZ so it seems like at least for the time being the narrative is still focused primarily and exclusively around the raids that we end up seeing here so if you're interested in that kind of stuff we'll see that going forward we of course have a new map for multiplayer and our first genuinely new map that we've seen here since launch post launch which is very surprising to me that it's taken five months at this point by the time this update goes out or just about five months that's kind of crazy to consider museum of course was a unique map to modern warfare 2 but we saw that in the beta so i don't classify it per se as new but we'll see that introduced on the multiplayer side of things well the new weapon of the tempest torrent marksman rifle in warzone will have those redeploy drones on ashika island likely perhaps coming to almazra within season three season three reloaded sometime in the future but it was stated that we'll see those debuted in ashika island and exclusively in ashika island for some time My I guess outside of all of that, across all three modes of Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, DMZ, and then Warzone 2, is also some additional weapon tuning. We saw that right now there are some weapons that are definitely out of hand, looking at UKV broadside because that thing is just ridiculous, as well as a couple other weapons that I'm sure we'll see some tuning here. We saw weapon tuning with Season 1, Season 1 Reloaded, Season 2, and even a little bit after the initial Season 2 update as well. While still I think we haven't seen really any weapon tuning truly gut or sort of promote a weapon oppositely, I don't know if we'll see that final happen, but it is something that I'm expecting weapon tuning along the way. But beyond that, let's talk about some fixes here with this, because beyond changes to content added in, we'll see some things added for multiplayer, Warzone, and DMZ that are likely going to be fixes. For multiplayer, Ranked Play has a few things up on deck that we can expect to see here. Things like fixes to the disconnects and suspension issues that are occurring, where players will get disconnected for whatever reason. It seems like it's either server side, your connection could be totally fine, but you might get kicked. They have been working on the kicked for inactivity issue. That is something that I've seen persist a little bit, but not nearly as much as whenever Ranked Play first launched. But regardless, if you are getting disconnected, players are getting suspensions for that when it's not their fault at all. So they're investigating and introducing fixes here for that with the next update. There'll be fixes to the visual bug that suggests that all SR has been reset, which could be a system shock. You could have thousands of SR invested into your ranked grind, and for that to show up as you lost it all, that would be a big problem, obviously, but it is something that's just a visual bug. So that should be fixed out as well. We'll see further camo fixes 
is coming with this update as well. I'm really curious to see to what degree, because they've stated for a while now they're working on the fact that additional weapons after you complete those 51 base that you need to get Platinum, Polyatomic, and Orion, after you complete those, those Polyatomic challenges do not show up for a lot of people as being unlockable, despite having 51 weapons already Platinum, Polyatomic, and Orion. So it's one of those weird things that, is it meant to be like that? Is it not? It seems like the way they're wording it that it is. So we'll see how that's all shaken up, but further camo fixes will be coming. Further stability for frame rate when changing attachments mid kill cam will be something that is going to be addressed as well. That's an ongoing issue that has been since I want to say like season one was introduced, but they've been rolling out fix over fix for that kind of stuff. Overall stability, of course, we're going to see more adjustments here to that on console, on PC, across the board. Warzone, Battle Rage, and Dead Silence will see fixes introducing them and hopefully bring those back into the loot pool as well. Equipment XP is supposed to have fixes returning where currently you don't get equipment XP for flashes, stuns, stims, shot grenades, smokes, and suppressor mines. Bird's Eye should have some fixes here available for players. What's weird is that season two ended up giving us customizable perk packages and with the perk being broken as of the update going into that season two update and then beyond they actually pulled that from the list of perks that you could end up using in warzone however for those that before season two had the bug where you could already customize your perk packages that was a bug it was random and there really was no way to end up getting that it just was luck of the draw for those that had that the option still remains to use bird's eye in your custom perk packages so they still get those uav pings of other players black sites and all regardless of the team who controls or calls them in so that's something that right now you can still kind of take advantage of that but We'll see some fixes hopefully on that end as well. The restock public events should be returning properly soon. There's an issue where the loot despawned after that ended up happening. And finally, for the Warzone side of things, there are fixes for the nuke bomb sites and the Champion's Quest challenge that will be fixed out as well. DMZ, the only thing that's really kind of been publicly stated so far is that we'll see further AI fixes. Infinity Ward announced today that there was a change to their strength in Ashika Island as well as Almazra in DMZ, not in Warzone in the Battle Royale aspect, but they didn't say what definitive level that was at just yet and also with the fact that this is seemingly always in motion a moving target there's ongoing balancing happening here with it so I'd expect that the season two reloaded update also addresses this further but that said that is some things that have already been listed officially by Infinity Ward and Raven on their respective Trello boards for Modern Warfare 2 as well as the Warzone 2 experience so that's where we're going to call it that is everything that you can expect to see and probably even more here coming as the season two reloaded update and the changes that you can expect from Modern Warfare 2 Warzone 2 and DMZ. So that said, that is what we're going to call it. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down below. Are you guys looking forward to any of these changes we may have mentioned? Anything that we didn't mention you'd like to add to this list that you've noticed as well that has either been commented on or that you're just hoping to see? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, if you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so don't miss a single finger in all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.